Hello everybody, I'm Blaz Feiler. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between April 28th and May 5th, 2018. We're going to keep it very short this time because my daughter Aria is looking at me at this moment and I don't know how her patient span is going to last, how long. So we're going to see and hopefully you're going to get all the information just in a more condensed package. Right, Georgia? Georgia is sitting outside here. She was on cam in the Hebrew video. She's just sunbathing at the moment. So, Saturday the 28th, we have Juno Chiron conjunction. All through these days, good time to heal our relationship, our long term relationship, anything that concerns family, home, the heart. And um, generally, time to be more sensitive in these areas because we can create further damage if we're not. Ceres is going to be on the North Node again um, in Leo up to May 3rd. This is a time to be aware of our need to be one with the world, to give to this world, to receive from this world, to be one with nature and to make sure that we are exacting that give and take process. It's about giving out of love without anything in return. But still not sacrificing oneself and remaining depleted at the end. So, uh, the Libra moon on Saturday is going to square Mars Pluto at nighttime, Central European time. That's uh, morning to noon time, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So just watch your temperament, don't overdo it. On the 29th, we have the moon opposing Uranus in the morning time, not a patient morning. Be careful on the roads. Um, take a little slower step uh, and pace and don't don't uh, don't fall into the impatient crowd and then the Sun is going to try in Saturn it's a great day for anything concerning your career or that has a, a strategic consequence all through these days but especially on Saturday the 29th yes you want to come and say hello is that what you want to do? Or you want daddy to stop the feeling? Eji! I'm going to come and take you in a second. Yeah. Yes. I promise. So, <laughs> Mercury is going to be in the greatest western elongation on the 29th. It's a great time to watch it shine uh, just before sunrise. If you're up so early or so late. Monday the 30th. We have a very early full moon in Scorpio, a time of turbulence regarding emotions, a time of transcendence and, and, and transformation, a time that we need to look deeply and maybe sometimes not that comfortably upon ourselves, our lives, our subjective viewpoints and hopefully make them better, make them transcend, transmute into something higher of more consciousness. In ancient cultures, this was called the pink moon because of the blossoming flowers. Or by Native Americans, it used to be called um, the growing moon or the egg moon or sometimes even the full fish moon because fish would come up the streams to spawn. So everything, all the, 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 the uh, depictions are depictions of nature coming back to life and uh, the pregnancy and the fertility of nature and uh, of the universe at this time we're going to have the moon conjunct Jupiter at night so this is definitely the energetic peak of this month we're going to feel that energy building on the 28th to 29th up to the 30th and when Jupiter is going to hit that full moon at, at uh, evening time Central European time that's morning time Eastern Standard Time, we could be um, swept away in a good manner or in a bad manner. So you decide. You can enjoy things uh, intimately or, or, um, or just be involved in something spiritual or creative that uplifts you and widens your horizons. Uh, or you could be in an emotional drama. So, um, Tuesday, the 1st of May, happy uh, Labor Day, or, or uh, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's called Labor Day, 
it's uh, it's uh, first of May is uh, is the laborers' day. Well, at least it is here in Israel. The Sag Moon is going to sextile Mars and Pluto in the morning. A lot of intensity, intensity and power. We can feel very powerful that day. Chiron is going to be trining the Moon, so also our weak spots don't feel so weak. And on Wednesday, the second, we're going to have the Sag Moon opposing Venus. So just don't ask for too much. Don't require too much satisfaction. Don't ask too much of your relationship, but certainly contemplate those issues. Thursday, the third, don't have much to say about that. Friday, the fourth, we're going to have the Cap, uh, a Capricorn moon squaring Chiron at noontime, a day that is sensitive, especially with our judgment and self-judgment. It's going to conjunct Saturn at night. So again, don't be tight asses on Friday. And Saturday, the fifth, we're going to have the sun shining the moon. Beautiful day. Trining, the moon trining Neptune, great day to go outside, be creative, be spiritual, have some fun. It's not a good day for communication and analytics and any left brain activities because the moon is going to square uh, Mercury on that day as well. And just in the night time, uh, please watch your temperament, don't go overboard because the moon is going to conjunct Pluto. And from the 6th, the 7th, and also the 5th, we're going to have the Eta Aquarid Meteor Shower coming from Aquarius. It is the meteor shower that comes from the tail of Halley's Comet. It's better seen in the Western Hemisphere. Of the, in the, I'm sorry, in the Southern Hemisphere of this world, up to 60 meteors per hour. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's up to 30. And of course, after midnight, you'll be able to see them better. Um, I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for commenting and sharing this. And on behalf of Georgia, Elia, and myself, have a beautiful week. And of course, for private lessons, consultations, or courses, just let me know. Namaste and goodbye.